It's the Kyle Hyman Show on Redeemer Radio. This is Kyle Hyman here with Andrew Serrani. And this weekend, there is a canonization happening. We've talked about two of the, the maybe the more popular ones mm-hmm. in the international sphere. Yeah, people and then there's, whose names you're going to recognize. There's one that's sure. popular, kind of has a little local following. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there are actually seven saints being canonized on Sunday, October 14th. And so I wanted to kind of just go through those quickly. It's going to basically be seven saints in seven minutes here. So there's an article over at churchpop.com, and I, it's a long link, so I put a link on our Twitter page. So if you go to at Kyle Hyman Show on Twitter, you can click on that to read through these, and it's got a little bit more information. But basically, it's called Seven Saints Pope Francis Will Canonize on Sunday and the Amazing Miracles Attributed to Their Intercession. So, just running through these quickly, we've got Blessed Pope Paul the Sixth. Wow! He was born Giovanni Battista Montini in Italy in 1897. Most of these were born in the 1800s. He was Pope from 1963 to 1978. And during that time, he closed the Second Vatican Council. That was in 1965. And then the encyclical Humana Vitae comes out. He's got a bunch of encyclicals, but that's the most popular of human life. That came out July 1968, same year as Ratzinger released Introduction to Christianity, by the way, we just talked with Dr. Tim O'Malley about. Uh, His miracle for his sainthood was the healing of an unborn baby. And I think there's actually two of them that happened. The second saint going to be canonized is Blessed Oscar Romero. He was born in El Salvador in 1917, so he's our our most recent Archbishop of San Salvador. He gave speeches against war, guerrilla, and oppression against the people of God. He was killed in 1980 by a sniper while celebrating Mass, so a martyr. And his miracle was the healing of a woman with internal bleeding and kidney failure after a C-section. Interesting story. Our third saint is currently Blessed Vincent Romano. He was born in 1751 and was a priest in Naples, Italy. He worked tirelessly to help the poor and the sick. And the miracle was a woman that was healed of a tumor and ulcers and lesions. And then there was another miracle of a woman that had throat cancer. And so in both cases, the doctor said there was no explanation how it could have happened. And really, I, that's probably partially the definition of a, of a miracle, that there's no scientific or natural explanation for it. Five. Another saint we have on Sunday, going to be canonized, Blessed Francisco Spinelli. Born in Milan, Italy in 1853, uh, dedicated his life to service of the poor again, Uh, co-founded the Sisters, the Adorers of the Blessed Sacrament. So they dedicated their lives to the Eucharistic adoration. And miracle associated with him is the healing of a baby that was expected to die. And doctors gave up on it, thought there's nothing that we can do to save this child. And they prayed to Blessed Francisco Spinelli and the child was recovered and is, I think, survived, not alive still today probably, but actually, no, I have no idea. I'm not going to speculate. Another one is Blessed Nunzio Sulprizio and born in Naples, Italy in 1817, died when he was only 19 years old. So another one of these young saints that we'll have to look up to for our young people, especially. He suffered throughout his life. He was orphaned at age six. He had an uncle that abused him as a child, beating and starving and sending him on dangerous assignments. I'm not sure what those dangerous assignments were, but his leg was infected by decay. His body had constant fatigue. And then eventually he loses his leg through bone cancer. So just a really rough life, never complained, offered his pain and loneliness to the Lord. And then the miracle associated with him is a healing of a boy that was in vegetative state after an accident. And so that's Blessed Nunzio Sulprizio. Got a pretty cool name too. Six! Blessed Nazaria Ignatia March Mesa. I'm probably 
not doing much justice to these names, but also known as Nazaria Ignatia of St. Teresa of Jesus. I, that's, a, that's a pretty rock star name to take, of St. Teresa of Jesus. Born in Madrid in 1889, her family moves to Mexico, and she joins the Little Sisters of the Abandoned Elderly. That's a religious order. Little Sisters of the Abandoned Elderly at age 19. And then she leaves to found the Missionaries of the Crusade in 1926. And then there's a miracle associated with her. It's the healing of a religious sister who couldn't speak or walk due to a stroke. And then our seventh saint Seven. coming this weekend is one that has a local connection here. Blessed Maria Catalina Casper who we've talked with Bishop Rhodes about her on a couple different occasions on Truth and Charity with Bishop Rhodes. She was born in Germany in 1820. She founded the Poor Handmaids of Jesus Christ, which is a religious congregation dedicated to serving the poor and are here in our diocese. That's the connection here. And her miracle was the healing of a sister that had tuberculosis. So again, there's uh, an article over at Church Pop that I got this information from, and it's about the seven saints that Pope Francis will canonize on Sunday. You can find a link to that article, it, along with images, pictures of the various saints. You can find that on our Twitter page if you just want to go there. It's also churchpot.com, but if you, you want to go straight to the site, you can just go to twitter.com slash Kyle Hyman Show, and you can follow us there on Twitter. Also click on the article and check that out. So again, that's this Sunday. We will have seven saints being canonized 